I get to the hospital and I could not believe there's my little girl. It's a whole side of her face bruised, swollen, like she'd gone 10 rounds with a heavyweight. Lucky is the one who questioned her. He was very kind to her and he asked her point blank, who did this to her? And she said loud and clear, Ethan did it. He beat her, beat her, beat her over and over. Christina has no reason to lie, Luke. I'm not saying she's lying. I'm just saying maybe she's confused. Look, it was a very traumatizing event. And she did have an argument with Ethan earlier in the evening. And it's easy to see how she could confuse the two events. Forensics identified Ethan's skin under Christina's fingernails. Yeah, well, that only proves that she scratched him. Now, he told me when he went to pick her up to take her to the hospital, she was frightened and she lashed out. You know what? He's good at, you know, telling stories. He's a con man. What do you expect? He's telling the truth, Sonny. No, no, he didn't do this. You need to find out who really did, and I'll help you. I will help you find the guy. I know who did it! I believe my daughter. Well, she's With wrong. all due respect, hey, listen. All due respect, Luke, justice is justice. I understand. I understand that you feel the need to do something, and I know that sometimes any action feels better than doing nothing, but not when an innocent man could get hurt. An innocent man won't be hurt. I'm warning you, Sonny. Ethan didn't do this. He's innocent. Don't. Don't you touch my son. It was a pretty big adjustment finding out that you were my brother. I mean, you, you're, you're a great guy, you're fun, we get along surprisingly well considering, but the truth is we don't know each other. I, I don't know how you were raised, I don't know what kind of trouble you got into. So when Christina says that you beat her up and you say you didn't, I don't know who to believe. Okay, but there's more to this than just not knowing my background. You're assuming the worst of me because of something Luke did. <sighs> Maybe. I, I can't think of anything that Luke would do that wouldn't shock me. He's always been pretty straight up about his shortcomings. Not all of it. All right, look, either we're family or you can get the hell out. But don't keep saying I'm your brother and then not tell me what this big damn secret is. Our dad raped my mom. Uh, there's there's got to be more to it. It was a long time ago. He was actually your age. And she was with another guy. She was married to someone named Scott Baldwin. And uh, she worked for a club that dad owned. And he was madly in love with her, but she stayed faithful to Scott. So one day he got drunk and he lost control and he forced himself on her. He raped the woman that he claimed to love. I didn't know. Dad says that he knew that you were his son because you two were so much alike. Which is why I can believe that you went after Christina. Hey. You said you'd be back tomorrow. Yeah, I, I couldn't wait. I was really worried about you. I had to make sure you're okay. I'm fine. Then what did Lucky say to make you cry? How did you know Lucky was here? I, I saw him through the window. I wasn't gonna interrupt. Come on, Kate, let me... Don't tell me that you've been here since Lucky left. I wasn't sure you'd want to see me. I'm not sure I want to see anyone. Wow. He must have really made you upset. What did he want? Nothing. I just asked him if he could help me out with my mom. You know, she's all about 
going through this trial for, I don't know, revenge, I guess. But I don't want to do that. And I f feel lousy enough that Ethan got arrested. Okay, why would you care what happens to Ethan after the way he blew you off? I don't want to have to go through a trial. you a lot and wondering how you doing and what I could do to help you. There's something you could do. I don't want Ethan to be punished for what happened to me. Did you uh, feel the need to confront Christina about what happened to her? Well, it didn't take Alexis very long to run to you, did it? She's a mother who's worried about her kid. You of all people should understand that. I do understand that. I'm sure Alexis is beside herself. But I didn't go and confront Christina. I was there visiting with her. We were talking. We were having a great conversation. There's a discrepancy in her story, and I just happened to ask her about it. Why? I mean, he, what does it have to do with you? I don't, I don't understand. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to ask any more questions. I'm done. I know I need to focus on Sunny and the trial. Right, of course, your number one priority. Is there anything I can say to you right now that would be okay? No, probably not. So let's just not have this fight again, okay? What fight would that be? The one where I point out that you campaigning to put Sonny in prison is actually hurting Michael? That fight, Jax? I mean, Michael needs to stay where he is right now until the trial is over. So please don't tell him about Christina because God knows what he'll do. Michael knowing about Christina is my decision to make, not yours. I can't let a man get away with being a woman. Dad. You asked how you could help me, and this is how. You're not thinking straight right now, that's why. Please don't treat me like a kid. I get that you're mad and you want Ethan to be punished. And Mom's mad too, and she wants Ethan to be prosecuted, but no one has even bothered to ask what I want. Okay, sweetheart, what do you want? I want it to be over. I don't want to have to go through a trial. Ethan to die because of me. <laughs> Where do you come up with this stuff? Sweetheart? Oh, please don't act like that's not what you're thinking. I don't want Ethan to be punished. You sound just like your grandmother. What do you mean? My mother used to get beat up by my stepfather, and she used to end up in, in the hospital, okay? No, no matter what, she would protect him, no matter how much he hurt her. <laughs> you never told me. I don't like talking about it, you know? Then you do know how I feel. Every time I talk about it, it's like reliving it. <laughs> Come here. I, okay, listen I'm to me. I'm sorry. And that you had to go through that with her. But you asked how you can help me. I just want this to be over. Please. <laughs> Please. 